welcome to VLSI for all. Today, Vishal Kumar this side and we have special guest Satish Sahu sir with us. And thank you Satish sir, sir, Satish sir for giving us your time. How are you today? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm completely fine. Doing okay, well. Sir. sir, starting with a question, can you give us the brief introduction about you, you to, uh, to the audience? Okay. Uh, hi, all. Uh, this is Satish and uh, I'm doing my MPEC at Amrita Vishwavidya Pitham Coimbatore campus. And uh, uh, the first year was completely curriculum based. So all those things, like all those subjects we had. And uh, in the second year, it is completely meant to be like internship and internal project inside college. So I got selected into Intel and uh, right now I'm doing internship at Intel and uh, simultaneously I'm doing my project also in college that is like an online basis. Uh, so it's been almost uh, more than six months that I'm doing my internship at Intel. So it is going well and uh, I completed my BTEC at uh, NIST Bharampur. Uh, and uh, after that I took gate coaching and IES coaching and uh, through gate only I joined Amrita and uh, oh, yeah it is doing uh, going well fine and uh, okay, i'm doing sir. my masters in vlsi design yes. sir is it completely online all the interviews and the technical intern at, at uh, yes Inter? yes 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 because it so, was last year so the second wave was going on so it was completely online okay so sir, sir, then uh, how how are you coping your life in the, the online college life at the M tech and the and the intel part uh, see, actually, at the beginning, when I joined uh, for MTech at the uh, year 2020, it was quite uh, tough to accommodate with the situation, classroom situation, mm -hmm. because we had a habit of like seeing the faculty in front and uh, uh, doing classes or listening things. But uh, starting one month was a bit, heck I mean, uh, to cope up with that situation, it was quite uh, uh, not that much adjustable. But later it uh, used to be like a habit. So I gave a uh, few of my vivas and uh, things at night 12 also. So that's not an issue for me. So, Sir, uh, what is the background at uh, Intel as a graduate Intel? Is it analog based or digital domain? Uh, mine is a digital based. So, sir, I mean digital demand, I think sir, that's included Xilinx Vivado. Uh, no, no, no. In, in my think, uh, Xilinx and Vivado is not there. I'm currently working on PD domain, physical design. So Physical I'm domain. using tools like, yeah, Synopsis. Uh, okay, sir. Synopsis online tool. Yes. Okay, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, sir, and what is, sir, sir, please tell us about your more about your Intel journey and how, I mean, and the, when you applied, when you get shortlisted and how is the environment there? Okay. okay. Uh, so back in the year 2021, we just uh, promoted to second semester and uh, then it's been like one and a half months only. We got that notification in the month of uh, March, okay, that uh, companies are coming. So uh, they, uh, they, uh, they shared some online documents to fill uh, office, Microsoft Office documents. We fill that documents with necessary details like marks and everything, which college grad and all. Uh, so we fill that and uh, post that after 20 days, if I'm not wrong, then it's uh, April 1st when uh, my interview was uh, happened at Intel. Sir, how and, many uh, stages? How many stages? Stages are there? Yeah, for in for for Intel, only one stage was there. Only, only one. one stage, sir. The yes, resume yes, shortlisting or the interview? Uh, no, no. Resume shortlisting is uh, you have to apply that uh, link and you have to upload your resume first. Based on their internal policy, they will shortlist your resume. I don't know on what basis they are shortlisting. So okay, once sir. they will shortlist, they will schedule a meeting on uh, uh, Microsoft Teams, and uh, you have interview based on that. Slot. Okay, sir. And uh, is it the off campus and the on campus? Uh, off campus, uh, no, it is completely on campus. Why? Because they specially visited to our college. Okay, sir. And we, yeah, only our college guys were there. You know, so, sir, did, sir, did you think, sir, then how many students from your batch you got selected, including you? Uh, see, uh, Amrita is having total all together for MTech, like three uh, campus for MTech offering. Oh, three campus. So, from all. Yeah, all, all three campus. So all three campus all together, including all branches, it is 31. Okay, sir. 31 students. Yes. Then all you... branches in the sense VLSI embedded and including everything. Microtonics. And especially, and... yeah, especially in Coimbatore at that, who in VLSI is like eight people. Okay, sir. A any total eight students got elected. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, sir. That's if you why... consider only Coimbatore campus. Okay, and that sir. too in VLSI design. Okay, and what is the what is the job profile that you are working on, and 
what profile will you get if you got the ppo uh like right now i'm working on uh, pd domain physical design domain so uh full time means i'm not sure on what domain maybe basically i'm working on the same domain uh, after getting full time okay so as what is the problem you are currently facing at uh, in your in your in your internship at intel yeah uh, the tool knowledge like uh, we have to like uh, experience something background related to tickle or any of the scripting language okay tickle or perl especially tickle they are preferring and uh, coding knowledge is that much not required if you are uh, fine with scripting language that is fine linux or i mean in hand experience with linux environment is uh, very much needed and uh, third thing which i can tell is like uh, at least one exposure to icc or dc compiler DC that they compiler. are expecting yes okay sir so uh, where you learn this sir, uh, the scripting language sir the online the npt uh, uh, yeah uh, online means there are uh, tutorials point and uh, some online uh, platforms are also available i am also completely new to this one i am okay, also sir. started learning yeah and uh, uh, linux thing i came to know from internet various internet sources and working simultaneously observing people how they are giving commands so slowly slowly you will build that knowledge and uh, sir uh, how is the peer group at, uh, at intel and uh, how they are helping yeah uh, uh, from intel side they are helping you uh, as a intern they will guide you properly they will teach you how to do the things it's not like completely spoon feeding they will uh, show you but uh, yeah they they try their level best to teach us and sir uh, how is, how much is the in knowledge gap between the masters and bachelor to the industry and what other skills do, would you prefer for the juniors to gain okay. as early as okay. possible uh, if uh, if i compare suppose i would have been selected into intel after completing my btech and uh -huh. what would have uh, what is the difference yes, between sir, uh, yes, when sir. i joined yeah a master yes. so in that sense if i am saying then i can say it's almost like uh, suppose as a physical design engineer i can say it's a 100 percent 180 degree phase shift is there suppose you are yes, joining sir. as a rtl rtl design engineer then okay that that is fine you can somehow manage because uh, during our btech time we wrote some very low codes we uh, do some projects in college yes, so that thing but uh, not completely exposure towards system very low we don't have that much exposure okay, to system sir. very low during graduation time and uh, third thing is like hta basic knowledge about uh, static timing analysis because which is very much necessary in pd domain and uh, after that uh, few knowledge like okay what is uh, regarding dft also it's not like you have some few basic knowledge okay this is mbist this is lbist okay this is how the things are going on um, scan chain insertion and all that so i don't think so a btech grad would have uh, knowledge about uh, those things and uh, digital also slightly variation in digital like some advanced circuits and all so yeah it's uh, okay sir and it, sir, it and sir, the, uh, and sir uh, thank you for the knowledge and sir and yes. sir the does a tier 3 college uh, trademark hinders your preparation or your mindset uh tier 3 yeah could you specify that one like tier 1 is that uh, iit the old iit and iisc and tier okay. 2 will be the and the uh, nit is g2 nsut and uh, okay. the tier three because uh, sir because many students who are in their tier three college who is doing doing mm -hmm. their um, tech give up their hope because they they okay. think that product based companies like Intel and uh, Nvidia um they are not okay capable to do that okay, okay. Uh, I think you belong to Bangalore right so you might no, have sir, I'm, know I'm about... from Delhi sir I'm doing my bachelor okay, in Delhi. NIT Delhi. NIT Delhi. Okay. Oh, yeah. NIT Delhi, right? Yes, sir. So, oh, few of you are in your second year or I no, mean, sir, final uh, year. I'm final year. Okay, yes. final year. So, many of your uh, uh, seniors are there at Intel who yes, are sir, doing yes, MTech. Yes, sir. Yes. So, Intel, Qualcomm. Uh, yeah, Intel, Qualcomm. And uh, third thing is that uh, various college, I can tell you that name, you might have uh, referred that uh, NIRF ranking. In that list, if you go for Amrita, that's, that, that's my college. And uh, second thing is like MIT, okay, Manipal. From there it also, we have a lot many people. Yeah, almost like 35 people from their campus got selected into Intel. MS Ramaya College in Bangalore, okay. Um, a lot many colleges are there where Intel is visiting. I mean, so, so on a regular is, basis. Uh, so this is not an then this is not a problem for the everyone no, who, no, is, no, no, who is watching no, this no. video. Okay, no, sir. No, no, no. It's not a problem, and uh, don't lose hope. 
so you will get a chance see if you are doing your masters now you are one step or two step almost closer to that one okay that thing okay sir okay sir and yeah. sir how do you like you said it that you did your internship and you are doing your college all all in online then how do yes. you keep your mindset full of positive to get into this work like get you get up from the from the bed and yeah like uh like uh, okay for the completely week days like from monday to friday i have to focus on my internship work and saturday sunday i have to focus on my college work so i divided that work yes, into sir. that part and uh, we have to try slowly slowly sir and sir what's your resume look like and what it should be uh, included to attract the recruiter mind recruiter's mind uh see uh, i can tell you one thing like uh, be transparent and be like uh, whatever you you know or whatever you have expertise only present that thing in your resume don't like i have to fill my resume make it to two pages or three pages completely that don't help you because if they start cross questioning on that you will be the one who will fall into that uh, path so it's better try to be honest if you don't know anything don't try to put it inside your resume if you are comfortable with something then try to put it i i have seen cases like uh, resumes of one page also getting selected people so that's not a matter actually so what should be so one just, page or two page i mean uh that depends like uh, your profile is experience i mean uh, the things that you have been performed or something if it is exceeding one page that is fine so don't try to exaggerate that to too much like more than two pages or something two pages is fine i mean up to two pages it's not like completely full 100% you have to fill okay 1.5 to 2 is fine okay sir and sir, that that will that will stretch okay i mean if you are writing something from your btech from your college day so it will go to that till that point okay sir so any considering the fact one page is sufficient sir yes, sir one your, page, sir, even one page is sufficient your sir your interview is fully based on your resume or they ask the hta and the digital domain questions yes 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 so they asked questions re regarding hta regarding digital domain also and a uh, few questions belong to dft also okay so it's so a how, sum of all these things how much is duration sir the how how, how much uh, yeah long? the duration the schedule they have made it to for uh, 45 minutes but it went around oh. 65 minutes sir they asked a very in depth question they said they, did they want the answer or did they want the approach yeah a few times uh, suppose uh, it's a like a theoretical question they are asking so they they will expect not the exact definition but okay somehow whatever your understanding on that theoretical question suppose they are asking uh, question okay uh, convert d flip flop into t flip flop or the vice versa or some kind of question they will see your approach on what way you are approaching towards okay, that okay sir the conversion of flip flop they also uh, they also ask. yes 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 yeah yeah a uh, few okay, questions sir. like uh, cmos basics okay like uh, draw an inverter diagram and describe what are all the capacitance value what is tau phl what is tau plh all those okay, things sir. okay what is latch up problem in cmos okay whole time uh, setup time yes 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 basic Everything. basic questions basic, yes basic they will questions. see what is yeah they will see what is your understanding based on that what is controllability what is observability what is slack what is q Okay. What is sir. timing date? All these questions. Sir, sir, did you sir refer any book or you just stick to the videos or lecture videos? Uh, see, it is like I took I uh, took coaching at um, yeah DFT. I don't remember the name. Sir, the book yeah, sir, uh, sir, now you are saying that the made the the gate coaching notes is very very important for your your placement wise too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it will clear your basic and non direction like this digital thing suppose some company is visiting and they are asking about analog also few of the companies or one of my friend faced uh, so like what is low pass filter how you can design that how you can RC design that so, yeah 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 all those basic things so re related to network theory few questions it's not like they will give you kcl and kvl and apply mm -hmm, but kcl sure. and kvl applies everywhere right Yes, sir. This is a uh, basic. They would ask you like, what uh, is yeah, Norton's theorem, what is Thevenin's theorem. This, this is a constitution of our uh, electronic engineering. Yes, yes. And sir, and sir, the in the era of IT sector booming, everyone got multiple offers from the IT sector, sir. And yes, uh, yes. how did you keep motivated yourself motivated to get into this field firmly, like like uh, like you like okay like you have never deviated from like I should do the C and the, become the software engineer of the which, okay. which is much easy. Not for that, not if I'm not offensive anyone, but. Comparing to the the field you are working on, 
so like uh, uh, my mindset was very clear from that uh, btec time itself that i want to go to into dive into this uh, uh, core domain only like uh, vlsi field only because i i know myself right i can't uh, survive in it for so long right so like all those codings it was completely some other part and i was doing something else right so like uh, i listen to my heart and i decided no i have to go to core domain only if uh, i tried for many of the psus also like isro uh, drdo and all that so i missed with few marks or something i missed that cut off so that's fine so these things will keep you motivated at the end of the day if you fail to crack a particular exam also that thing also counts as your experience okay yes sir, in that yes. particular domain so don't lose hope at the end of the day it matters is whether you get whatever you want to be or not so sir I at uh, in which year you decided you will completely dedicated to this field i mean like you said in you know btech time in which year well, yeah. first year or second year third year uh first year second year we don't have a clear picture of all yes, that sir, in have... second year yeah because mm -hmm. it's completely new you don't know about uh, because in till second year also you are learning some common subjects like network theory analog digital which is common to electrical also which is common to instrument which is common to ec also okay so you don't have that clear picture so after that uh, completion of second year i did a course summer course in uh, this jailings uh, thing in my college that was provided okay, by my college you can do it anywhere okay that's not an issue there are several institutes there so you can do so there i came to know okay uh, there is a field called as vlsi okay uh, people are earning so much people are uh, 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 devoting their time into this field they are making their career into that so from there i started uh, slowly slowly okay these are the things okay how smartphone works how the chips are inside how every year the technology is advancing and also there uh, my interest got developed into that thing sir did you also your field sir is physical design does it include the, the does it include with the chip designing part or the any fabrication process uh chip design part or fabrication process uh, till now i can't say uh, that i'm completely into that so right now okay, we sir. are in that learning phase only yes, sir. and so now the sir, ai is also coming into the uh, cold field and then sir, okay. how it, how it is going to impact like i, I like i said so i read some article from the intel the intel ceo that it's revived the murray's law ai then how is it okay so relevant? so that part i'm not sure even i too went through that so even i'm not sure how that will impact us uh, but fine uh, it's uh, human forces completely cannot be removed by ai okay uh, how much intelligent that uh, robots may go but uh, completely removing that human force i'm not sure because after all it is made by human only right but the oh, yes, human sir. only we are making ai thing so i don't think so what will happen in future i i don't know but and, uh, and sir how is the how is the new uh, the social media app like linkedin or how it okay. is help to for the core engineers how it should be how it should be used sir can uh, you yeah. give it uh, so updating your profile and completely it is like on a company basis on uh, linkedin will help you a lot because after i got selected into intel i updated my linkedin profile after like 3 or 4 years i haven't gone through that so i updated my profile and i see like uh, many of the companies or some of the recruitments drive i can see the links okay okay this is the recruitment drive we are uh, willing to hire or something so could you have spare some time to do interview or something with us so all these things will come okay so be ready with your linkedin profile which will help you a lot even i heard like many of my friend got jobs through linkedin okay okay sir through some mutual connections refer this thing so it will help a lot sir did you sir message any senior or any faculty any work working people at intel to reach out uh reach out in the sense before before interview or after interview you are asking. sir both sir both you can sir you you can yes, sir your experience is everything now okay before interview i contacted few of my seniors from my btech days because at mtech we don't have any senior uh, frankly if i'm saying why because uh, like uh, we are completely on virtual mode so we don't know who are there inside campus so what our college was doing was like those seniors who got selected into any of the companies like intel or amd or uh, any of the companies they invited them they will share their experience on weekends like uh, how they got that interview what are the questions they asked so they frame all those questions they prepared a slide based on that 
they call that particular senior he will talk in front of us he will clear our doubts so sorry, you attend all the all these webinar eh? so you attend yes, every yes. webinar yes 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 so yes. it's help you a lot like you like definitely you definitely with, with notes at least and you everything. will come to know what are the type of questions they are asking it's not like the exact questions but on which basis they are asking questions they will yes, test right. your knowledge it's like the sir yes. solving the previous year questions yes yeah not exactly but yeah somehow somehow sir, how is it, sir uh what was your project in btech and what are you doing in the mtech project and how it is relevant to the industry purpose like is is, is coiling okay. with the so the research okay uh, btech days i did a project of mixed language drink machine system for low power uses using okay, uh very low okay okay sir and uh, now in mtech we have several uh, in first semester and second semester we had several term work also for each and every subject almost okay term, term work. work so Oh, yeah. Term, term work. Term, term work, work means okay, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Suppose you are uh, reading one subject of VLSI. Okay. At the end of that, what our respective faculties will tell is like you go and refer some IEEE papers or journals, collect that, prepare, uh, go through that, and based on your understanding, prepare a slide and present it before the whole class. Okay. So we have marks for that also. So and after that, either the students or the faculty will ask you questions based on your slides or based on your understanding. So which will help you a lot in doing the things. And right now, uh, I am doing like uh, in uh, low noise amplifier thing and analog side. LNA. I my call yeah, LNA okay. design in college. That's so inclusive. That's include the uh, advanced communication part, the the wins, which uh, the yes, figure of yes. merit and the figure of gain. Yeah, I I IIP and uh, 3db insertion point. Oh yes, sir. And, so so uh, you are doing figures. this. So you are doing this on the which platform? Uh, we try to use ADS tool uh, because okay, that sir. is open source because we can't access all those uh, cadence and all. Right. Sir, like a sir, like a uh, due to the online, you are not able to directly work on the cadence or the cadence virtuoso tool just that is provided by the college. Sir, uh, how the how such open source help you? How, like, uh, see, like, uh, because it was a global impact, right, uh, due to COVID. So no one has that access to either college or something. So uh, open source tools like ADS and also you will be familiar with, okay, how MOSFET looks like, how you can import that library, how you can uh, implement small, small circuits. Of, okay, suppose you read some circuit about, okay, common source amplifier with this much modification and gain, I'm getting this. On theory, on paper, that is fine. But when you are physically implement that thing on tool, you will come to know and uh, you will see what are the um, uh, toughness or difficulties that or hurdles that you are facing. So yeah, uh, that helps a lot. So okay, nothing is better than something, right? Oh, I mean, sir, yes, something sir. is better than nothing. Okay. Yes, sir, so in yes, that sense, yes. Sure. yes. And so uh, the CDP part, uh, how much it affect the placement and the perspective of the person uh, see cgpa few, few of the intel doesn't set any criteria okay they just uh, simply conduct i mean uh, uh, circulate that link and based on their internal thing they shortlisted those things okay and uh, few of the companies like amd and some others they predefinedly set like okay throughout career you have seven or zero cgp like this zero so, they have so yeah minimum so seven is the good cgp or the eight is the very much Yes, seven above seven is fine. In my okay, opinion. sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes. And sir, after the COVID surge and everything happens, uh, how is the job opportunity for the core engineers? Like you are doing the physical do physical design domain. So uh -huh. how is that? How is it? Does it change or not? Um, uh, like uh, you can read at some of the newspapers or daily notes. Like uh, companies are earning in some crores in this uh, yes, sir, lockdown yes, sir. time. Okay. Their they sales increase, are they, rising. Okay. They increase their profit, yes. profit margin. Oh. Profit yes, margin. Their sales are rising. So I don't think so. Like it is uh, downgrading. But yes, uh, yeah, it's completely in the uh, increasing it, part. It is only. in the it, it, it is in the good part. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, and uh, what should uh, BTEC and MTEC uh, uh, should make their project work more productive and more inclined to the industry oriented, like where should they work more like you, you are in the phys physical design domain and yes. and the, who is who is basically loves the digital digital electronics and how should it okay. mold the how should it mold their their knowledge so they can do so that their their knowledge is inclined with the industry purpose 
could you ask that question one more? Like, uh, I mean, uh, so the project, so what should yes. the project work uh, B Tech and M Tech grads should do to to make okay. their to make their more industry level relevant? Like the, the, the okay, uh, that is. thing is like anything relevant to like CMOS or analog yes, thing. CMOS inverter yeah. characteristics. BCO, yeah, CMOS PLL. inverter characteristics. Uh, a few of my friends are doing in uh, hardware security, hardware security domain also, like okay, uh, Trojans sir. attacks and all that. That will also help. A uh, few of the companies uh, are working on that also, pro performing Trojan attacks because uh, bots and all those Trojan attacks are. Uh, frequent nowadays right so okay, few sir. of the companies are working hard to secure their chips or ICs based on that so that is also good wow sir i uh, we previously we learned about the trojan virus now we trojan attack on the hardware too. yes yes hardware itself also we have a dedicated subject for that hardware trojan in our second uh, semester okay sir sir your field sir yes. is vlsi in microtronics am i right uh, no, it's a VLSI design only, not micro design only. So how it is, yeah, how it is very different difference from the microtronics and the other term? Uh, I I am not completely sure, but I went through some Quora or something. They there someone was written that okay, microelectronics what IITs now also preferred, right? Yes, IITs sir, and the few old IITs, IITs all they have yeah, this old IITs and NITs. Uh, someone was written there uh, like it is almost twenty five years or thirty years back thing. That they are okay, teaching sir. micro electronics thing. I'm not sure how far that is true in my knowledge, but uh, yeah, curriculum wise a bit uh, different. Like ours uh, college was revising its uh, uh, subjects for every three years or something. It is trying to make it more relevant towards industry expertise or the industry people are asking in their interviews or something. So okay, sir. they will try to revise. Sir, your do your domain is physical design domain, and there's a there's a, there's a domain in the digital system on chip. How okay, they are uh, how they are different? Uh, associate thing. Uh, no, I'm not sure about that question. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I mean, sir, because I, I every time I go to the LinkedIn, they are they are always termed that SOC design engineer. So I don't okay. know this one. And sir, uh, okay. so sir, we are in the end of this interview. Before wrapping up the interview. Could you give us some motivation yeah. tips to our viewers so after so that after watching this they feel more uh, motivated to work harder okay uh so fine you are in your uh, which year of your uh, graduation sir, i mean there's a final year so i'm just final year okay done so with the gate exam fourth year right yes, okay uh so you cleared gate exam this time yes sir i mean uh, sir i mean sir this okay is, i mean sir for all the viewers sir okay no no that, that i will tell so i'll uh, just asking you that question so have you cleared gate exam this time yes sir I mean, um, you might under sir 1500 they are telling they oh, are 15 that's great oh uh, so you that uh, predictor rank predictor right yes sir, that rest, response set came i guess on 15th right mm. sir that can be sir, so, done after sir this is for the audience sir this is then recording we can't this okay fine, fine 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 so that is so why, that is why I'm one asking. thing one thing uh, to all my viewers i can tell uh like what i see there are uh, in this thing also in this technical field also there are two different field after you you can do after completing your graduation okay First thing is that suppose your basics are not that much clear. Okay. So okay, you sir. can choose to go for any of the uh, coachings like gate or IES. Okay. That will help you a lot. That will boost your knowledge. That will clear all your basics. Second thing, if you are good at your basic, as you said, you are getting 1500 rank or something around. Okay, fine. So suppose you uh, set your mindset. Okay. I want to go to into physical design domain. They are providing internship or uh, uh, trainings based on that domain also. So you can do that six months or one year course also before joining mtech okay if you are joining mtech it is considered as almost one or two years of experience in the company okay so intel you can see like uh, i can tell about intel uh, being a college grad if you are directly joining into intel and being uh, doing your mtech if you are joining uh, any of the companies it will increase your salary level it will increase your expertise level uh, you will come to know about many things so two things you can do i can tell yes, if sir. you are uh, not good at your basic you can go for those coachings if you are not yes, good sir. at uh, these things you can go for this training so it will help you, you a lot before thank joining you, mtech I mean, sir, thank, yeah. thank you sir for thank you for this interview sir so let me sir
Thank you.